Hi, I'm Lori and this is Teresa and we are two of the three women from our view and we're going to teach you guys a quick class. This is one of our kits that we have with Young Living. We have some of the most amazing kits. So there's some that are your favorites. Uh, I will love, still love the Raindrop kit. Yeah, Raindrop Feelings kit, Everyday Oils yeah. kit, but this one is our Oils of Ancient Scripture kit and it is 10 oils that are significant plants, botanicals, materials, and resins that are actually from the Bible. And Teresa's going to tell us the oils that are in the kit. Okay, I'm going to read these to you. So we have cedarwood. Cedarwood is really great for the hair and for the mind. It's just good. Aloes, which is sandalwood. Um, I love sandalwood for my skin. I love sandalwood too. Frankincense. Enough said. Enough said. <laughs> Myrtle. Uh, Myrtle, I love to have available for um, my chest during the winter months, during the seasonal time. Myrtle's a good one for support there. Uh, Rose of Sharon or Cistus. This is probably not my favorite fragrance, but it is such a powerful oil. It is a great tool to have. Um, Didn't we just come out with that as a single? Or is that Cassius? Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. Cistus. Sisters. Sisters yeah, is yeah. one you need to study. Definitely. You need to look it sure. up, uh, read about it, because it's one you don't hear much about, but it's very powerful. But like I said, the smell is not my favorite. Uh, Spikenard. Galbanum. Onika. Some of these, it's fun just to learn how to pronounce them. Cassia. And Cypress. And Cypress is one that is also in the raindrop kit. So these are the oils that come with oils of ancient scripture. One of the neat things that I remember is in the beginning of Genesis, that's the first place that you see anything about oils and you don't even realize it. Uh, this book that Lori's holding, Healing Oils of the Bible by Dr. David Stewart, it's one, it's a tool that you may want to get. And he shares in here different stories from the scripture. In Genesis, it talks about Joseph and when his brother sold him into slavery. All of that, they were on the frankincense trail. They were, they were trading essential oils at that time. They didn't specifically name them essential oils, but when you go back and study, that's actually what they were. Then you look at Queen Esther. All through that book, it talks about Esther using oils. It goes all the way through the scriptures into the New Testament. Yeah. You know, this book was probably one of my pivotal moments with Young Living because I still remember exactly where we are, where we were probably 10 years ago when I first started reading it. And you and I were talking about it last night and that the first two chapters really are so uh, crucial and that, that you read nothing else. The first two chapters That's are right. amazing. But that is really what solidified my belief in the power of essential oils because it took my faith which is my my faith, my higher power is, is Jesus Christ in the Bible. And it took something so precious to me and combined it with something that I'm, I was just learning about essential oils. And it really just solidified that these things are really powerful and they're really going to work. So and one of the neat things that we learned is in the scripture where it talks about anointing, though what that literally means is massaging in with oil. And I love that. In, in the book of James, it talks about anointing the head. Well, you just massage the oils in. So that's yeah. pretty significant to me. Yeah, I like that too. Plants were made for our good. All the way from Genesis to, to Revelation, you, you read about different plants and how they are for us. Mm -hmm. And these oils are just oils from plants. That's all they are. And it says that in, in Scripture that God spoke life into the plants yes and then the plants are what become our oils so the power there for me is kind of mind-blowing also that they they came from his spoken word so, so it's a great study yeah. so if you pick up this book and just read the first two chapters i promise exactly. it will be enlightening and you know i often hear from people that essential oils are fad Mm. Well, I kind of think that debunks Real that. Old. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> kind of debunks that since they're mentioned in the Bible or referenced um, in some way by aromatics or oils over 1,100 times. Yes. And I love this little tidbit of fact that King Tut, so when he was buried, he was buried in multiple layers of tombs, multiple rooms, and they were just filled with all kinds of things. Well, it was discovered, his tombs were discovered in 1920. 
and it had been the way the archaeologists discovered it, they could tell that it had been robbed at least two, two times. And what they realized is that what was taken from the tomb more than anything were essential oils and jewels. And so the, the grave robbers and the tomb robbers actually knew the value of the essential oils that were in there. Well, you even look to the Christ child, mm -hmm. and he was given gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Well, frankincense and myrrh are essential oils, and it is reported in the Middle East that gold could have been another word for one of the other oils that they had because it was a golden color. But we know that frankincense and myrrh were two of them. So it just keeps going. Yeah. So there's, there's lots of different ways you can use these oils, just like you can really use other oils, but... For me, these oils are so special because they really are, they, they make me want to have a state of meditation or yes. quiet or peace. So, and this is how I usually use them. Yeah. This one is Sistus of all things for me to pick up. That's so funny. Oh yeah, that's a strong smell. That is definitely a strong smell. But smelling them in, getting them to the limbic system of your brain, you can do that during your, your quiet time, your prayer time. Um, you can use them to anoint people, put them in your diffuser, however you want to. But it's a really great kit. We highly recommend it. And it's a great gift. Mm -hmm. These oils were gifts all through the centuries. So these oils are great gifts now because they don't just smell good, but they also have value for us physically. And you know, in this size bottle, there's about 75 drops of oil. You could break these up into mini kits and give as smaller gifts to people too. That would be a really, yes, really precious gift. So, all right. That is Oils of you. the Bible from our Mr. <laughs> video. You've heard our stuff. Are you ready to get started with Young Living? If you are, please go to youngliving.com. There's a place there that says become a member. But first, contact the person that told you about Young Living. We want you to connect with the person that was connected with you. So go to that person, tell them that you're interested, then use their member number. And if, you've, if there's no one that's talked to you about this, our member numbers, our links are listed in the description. And we will be glad to help you. So go do it. It's fun.